Time is it? It's myth busting time. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if this myth is actually true or not. We're gonna try putting two fuses, 2.5 amp fuses in parallel to see if we can increase the current capability of the fuse. So if you have 2.2 Five, and then you have times two. If you get five, if you get five amps out of it total, which is what this power supply will go up to. Anyway, right now we got it at one amp at nine volts. We're gonna now go ahead and turn it up a little bit. 1.2 amps, still conducting. One point three nine amps, still conducting. And how I got these fuses old to hold on to here, and then a fuse old I took solder, thick solder. Wrapped it around the terminals and wrapped that on around the other terminal to fuse to get it in parallel with this so that it can try to see if it can share it. If these are not, you gotta make sure these make good connection. If one of them fails, it'll blow. So we're testing it out to see what happens at different currents with this fuse will do. Right now at 1.39 amps, we go up to. 1.5 amps, still doing good. We still, it hasn't blown yet. If it blows, this, this current here on the meter will go down and this will say nine volts right there. So, so, so the current will, will, will go away and you have five, nine volts over here whenever it blows because there'll be zero current being drawn and it'll be nine volts at, at, on, at, these, at the binding post. Right now it's shorted out because it's going through that fuse. Anyway, enough about that, let's keep on going. Now we're gonna try 1.75. If I can get evenly. 1.75, still working. Best of the fuses, otherwise it can lose connectivity, so I won't feel fill them. Now we're getting closer to 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 the maximum current. Two amps still hasn't blown. This is rated for 2.5 amps. Let's see if we get 2.5 with no problem. Two point twelve. Two point twenty three, two point twenty seven, two point twenty eight, two point thirty four, two point thirty nine. Close, we're getting close to the maximum current. Almost, almost like nine millivolts away, nine milliamps away from the maximum current. The size hasn't blown yet. Fifth, over the current now. We're over 2.5 amps, and look at that. We're still getting current flow. So that means it's working somehow, but what we'll work up to five amps, like like, 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 like the current said it was gonna be. If you evenly divide it, multiply it out, share the current, current by two times it, you get five. What will it last 
we'll go all the way up. Let's go see how far we can go without it blowing the fuse. Okay. 2.6, 2.66, 2.73, one up high. That fuse would have been blown by now if, 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 if I didn't have when we take it in parallel. So maybe it works in parallel, you get more current. Two point eight, almost three amps. Two point nine, two point nine, three amps now. We're drawing three amps. What do you know? We're drawing one. We're drawing. We're drawing half amp more than what what Wes waited for. Let's try one up more, a little bit more. Three and a half, 3.65, 3.72, 3 3.76, still doing good. So let's keep on going. Where am I going? 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.88, 3.
Okay? Hang on. Okay, I'm hooking it up then. I'll watch what happens to the fuse at two amps. It still works. Yeah, it still works. Look at that. You see it's heating up. It's because because it, because we're very close to the blown the blow in it. At two and two and a half, two amps. So this we'll wait this way for two and a half amps, so we're sourcing two amps into it. So it's good. So it looks like it never did anything like that when we had two of them in parallel. It never did anything like that, did it? So this is probably a sign it's gonna blow once it go up below the the current limit. Look up to there. We got 2.02 .02 amps. Don't feel any, don't really feel any heat really. Let's try going up, let's try going up on it. Still going. Still going at three amps. Man, I should have changed the voltage. Oh, it did it. Cause now I turned it all the way to five amps and it did it. Cause now you can see on the display, there's zero amps and 9.3 volts across these two binding posts. And I think it did it. I'm gonna take a look at it, I'm gonna hook it. I think it broke connection. It did, I see it. Did it in a weird looking way on his fuse. You can't see it on the camera probably. If I hook it back to it, if I won't they have no conductivity. Doesn't. So there you go. Myth proven. So you so now you know. Now the thing is, I would not try doing this if you have multiple types of fuses. I want to try, I only, I'd only do this if you have the same fuse. It probably has to be the same fuse anyway. Because, because if it's different, different fuses, it probably change, change, change how the current's going to be divided. It's like this, it's like when you have a voltage divider, it, uh, and you have two just the same, it's going to divide evenly out. Same thing with these fuses, if you have them the same in parallel, the, the current will divide out evenly. And not blow. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it.